She want to show cleavage. This is why I be like, <laughs> you need your blood drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I will be taking y'all with me to a day in my life as a phlebotomist. Um, when I posted my morning routine, y'all asked me if I could take y'all along with me to work. Because um, y'all know I work only four hours and then I do my influencer stuff after. Like on my YouTube, social media stuff. Like work after like email stuff when I get home. So yeah, I was gonna, you know, just take y'all along with me before I quit you know but no i just wanted to take y'all along with me because this has been a part of my life since i was 19 years old i started phlebotomy um i took a program through a hospital where my local time was it was the only hospital um that gave back it was like them giving back to the community so they did interviews for it because it was so much like so many people like wanted to do it and it was like high in demand so it was a lot of competition but your girl came through and got a position i i, I cried in the interview y'all like because i was telling them about my grandma having lung cancer rest in peace to my grandma she came through for a real one i had to bring her up in the interview i got it i came through and yeah so and it was only a nine week program but they don't have it no more because it got bought out by a different company like a whole bunch of people lost their job and stuff like that and i'm so happy i left when i did because yeah so that was my first phlebotomy job i had got hired on they give you they do a nine week course intense course of phlebotomy in the hospital so in-house i got hired on it was me and another girl well it was me and two other girls i got hired on so no it was no it wasn't it was just me and another girl and it was three of us in her class so yeah it was just two of us that got hired on then i worked there for a year then i moved to milwaukee blah 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 had a whole bunch of different experiences i worked at a blood center i worked in clinic i worked in the hospital hospital is my favorite and now i'm back in the hospital so it's 2 54 i gotta be on my way to work because i gotta be there at four o'clock well before four o'clock you know that be tripping they be like oh you need to be ready to go 15 minutes before okay sweetie but anyway so yeah so if you want to see me in a day in the life as a phlebotomist just keep on watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and yeah normally i do skincare in the morning too even though it's early as fuck i still do it because i need to have my skin on point and there's this nurse that works i might be in that floor today um there's this nurse that works this isn't we don't talk well, we talk, but not like that. It's like professional, but he is so fine, y'all. Like, he is so fine. Like, I call him Nurse Bay. He don't even know he's my bae. Like, he don't even fucking know. <sighs> he's so fine, y'all. Like, I wish I could show that him, but I'm not about to put him on camera. Because he gonna probably stop. But yeah, I be having to look a little decent to go to work because... Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Obviously, I'm recording today, so I'm gonna put a little bit of effort. But every day is random. We don't know what floor we're gonna be on, so yeah. So I'm just about to put my clothes on real quick. Get ready for, well, get ready to head out the door.
Okay, y'all, so I just got dressed. I just put on, this is normally what I wear to work. I wear like a Nike half zip up thing and then these scrub pants from TJ Maxx. They're so cute and comfortable. Like, I don't like regular scrubs. Like, they're so ugly. But anyway, so I just made my coffee with this MCT oil. I use this coffee, Chester's Choice, cause I'm not all fancy like that yet. I don't have a coffee machine here, like whatever. And they don't make coffee for us at work, so. This is a sugar alternative, so I put that all in my coffee and it's made, oh my God. Just made that and I put it into this. But first, I am gonna drink a full bottle of water before I even start drinking this coffee because, yeah, it's just what I like to do. And then also I got a banana, so. Yeah, we all ready to go. It's three o'clock, so by the time I get there, it'll be like 3.30, maybe 3.45. Coming in. Y'all, this jacket keeps me so warm. Like, y'all know, it be so early, so it be cold. But let's go, let's go, let's, let's, let's go. I don't really be this hype. It's just cause y'all here, duh, I'm showing the fuck out. <laughs> Y'all, I swear, every time I come outside, I have to hurry up and jump in the car because I never fucking know what's out here. It's too motherfucking dark, too much going on in the world. You never know. Like, you just never fucking know. Y'all, no fucking lie. I swear to God, it's a fucking herd of deers out here. See, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. You never fucking know what the fuck is out here. Like, that's my biggest, oh my God, I wish I would've got that on camera. I'm not turning around. Fuck that, cause they might hit my car. <laughs> and that's one of my biggest fears, like to hit a deer. Oh my God, that shit scared me. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, so <laughs> let me, um, you know, get back to driving. <laughs> And um, I just hang my coat up and then these are where all the lab jackets are in our back room. And then I'm gonna show y'all, like my supervisor's over there, she's so fucking annoying. But I'm gonna show y'all like where we like get all of our stuff ready in our carts before we go on the floor, so. So this is where we do, right here. Okay, y'all, so I just got my, we just got our stuff together. I don't like, I don't like being by myself no more because my homegirl cute. Ever since I met her, like, we just be on it. You feel me? She's not talking right now, cause she gotta get herself together before I put her on camera. But yeah, she just got here. Oh God, that's not him. This is cute. This is my homegirl. This is who I usually swarm with. Swarming just means like two people work together. But we can work by ourselves, but you normally we get the shit done together faster. So but yeah, we on the fourth floor today. I wish we would have been on the other building because the other building just is better. So we only got 17 draws each. Anyway, so we just walk into the floor right now and then we gonna go up there and get everything together. And I'm gonna show y'all the tubes that we use and stuff like that when they get sent to the lab. Yeah, do you have anything to say? I just don't wanna be here today. <laughs> <laughs> 
she um she just told me that she didn't want to get up today y'all it's a struggle to get here at 4 a.m it's not easy do you like working with me girl yes <laughs> I work done. i'll probably check in with y'all once we start doing our drops okay y'all so when we get to the floor we like to put the numbers on the back of the labels just because it's easier to pick up but she's about to get ready to go do her four o'clock we got to do the four o'clock first yeah we just write down the back like that so and we get our supplies together so those are vacuum containers tourniquets and then we have our needles right here normally we just use butterfly because we're not coming in and out the room it's five minutes or less because we don't do that <laughs> All up in the room all fucking day. We five minutes or less. <laughs> She's not used to this, y'all. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I gotta get my supplies together for my room. Because it's against you know. So this is for chemistry. This is for hematology, C V C blood count. And then gloss. Oh, Tape. And then this is just second name. Oh shit. And I like the green butterflies because it's faster. She likes the blue. Those are normally used for small veins. Quote unquote. So yeah, I'm about to go in the room. So yours refused to? Oh. So um normally patients have the right to refuse. If they don't want their blood drawn, that's fine. Um we can come back later. We just gotta tell the nurse and that's cool. Like I'm not gonna argue with you. Like if you don't want to get drawn, you don't want to get drawn. So we just gotta fill out this sheet and have the nurse sign it. It just says come back later. But I'm not gonna fill it out yet. So y'all, it is now five o'clock and we are done with our first set of draws. It was only 17. And it'll probably only take us like, what, 30, 45 minutes for the second floor. So these are all of our draws. We just let them pile up and then we go ahead and send it. So I'm about to send it these to the tube station so this is the tube station so it's automatically like preset so we just put them in here and then yep that's it and y'all there's sinks on well not every floor but most of the floors but there's hand sanitizer out of every room because you need to hand sanitize before you go in and after you go in but after a couple of draws i do like to wash my hands because it just I wish I could show you my nurse bay. I told them about nurse bay this morning. <laughs> we should go. But I'm not going to show. But after we get done with our drugs, I'm going to see if he's on the floor. To see if he's here today. Y'all, he's on like on Instagram. Like, you know the Instagram posts that you'll see with those black nurses? That's what he looked like. Like, fine. And I've never seen that ever. So yeah, we about to go to our second floor and I'll check in with y'all after. Okay y'all, so Q is about to go into a contact precaution room. So this is what we have to do when that happens. We have to gown up fully. And yeah, so just to protect ourselves and she's about to put a mask on cause it's a droplet. So that just protects you and the patient and you don't want to get nothing. You don't bring want to bring nothing home. So yeah, we just about to get this floor done real quick. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we are done. Like I said, we get the shit done. And it's only five, what? 5.53? 5.53 and we get off at eight. So now we are about to go see if our other homegirl needs some help. This is what we do. We get done and then we see if our other homegirls need help or if they want to send us anywhere. But yeah, it's probably different um, other places. This is like hospital setting because there's clinic and then there's like blood center, other places you can work. But at the hospital, you would literally just get a pack and then just draw until they call you to go somewhere else. But yeah, I like the hospital. Do you like hospital or a clinic? I like clinic. I don't like the clinic because it's too repetitive. I'm sitting in one place at one time. Well, and what? But see, like I like everywhere is different, y'all. Like what my last job before this one, I would sit at the same desk and just call patients, and that was it. 
and go on lunch and it was so repetitive but this job is repetitive but i mean it's the same concept but it's just different settings you know so yeah but we about to get on the elevator and go to the other building that i like the new and cute one Oh, and this is how we communicate. Oh, Call Andrea Sanchez. Oh, she don't. But yeah, this is how we communicate, y'all. This is, what's her name? Or Sarah. She like a Siri. She don't listen at all. The bitch is hard headed. What's her with 11. And some other part, but she probably not done with 11 yet since she came over to get coffee. But we're not going to see if Nurse Bay's here. Cause I don't think he's here today. I think he works seven days on, seven days off. That nurse shit. Oh my God, the nurses was going off today. That's why I want to be a nurse no more. She was like, I got time for she was shit. like fuck these fuckers. <laughs> she was like, I'm turning everything to. I was like, damn, bad girl. Go home and get you some dick and come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the nourishment this is where we get water i never drink their coffee because they be making it whenever they fuck the lump and they probably be nasty but i just come here you already know to get the hospital water um cubes yeah the ice the ice double cup don't worry about what's in my cup out Gotta fuel up and then I drink it with a straw. <laughs> okay, this is probably my last straw. We came to help my sister Andrea catch up. Come on, let's go real quick. Damn. Why would you do that? Now, why would you do that? She want to show cleavage. This is why. I be like, you need your blood drawn? <laughs> no, you want Caught up my homegirl because I was trying to cheat her this morning, giving her 30 jobs. <laughs> and yeah, we just chilling right now. It's what 640? 6:50. 6:50. We get to go downstairs at 7:45, so we got an hour. If they call us, we'll leave and go do a draw. But if they don't, my ass is playing right here until 7:45. So, yeah. You might need lotion. Yeah, my shit's dry. Like this pussy. <laughs> with, no dick, with no dick in it, though. <laughs> Girl, this money is. Andrea, do you like hospital setting or clinic setting? I think I like the clinic better just because there's a little more variety. Mm -hmm. like we collect specimens and a whole different other stuff. That was like girl, I collect some I feel like I feel like the hospital has more variety. You think mm -hmm. so? Mm -hmm. But see you only collecting blood though when you at a clinic girl you collecting everything from the oh, girl, like the Gucci Gucci you collect <laughs> yeah you collect like throat swab from mm -hmm. swab like, urine um blood stool, stool. yeah they'll I come drop off stool I I don't miss that because that shit is nasty one. Yeah, yeah, but it still is repetitive. Like mm -hmm. you still do the same shit over and over. Yeah. Again, have you done MA before? Have were you at MA? Yeah, I was doing MA before at. Were we in Franciscan? Mm -hmm. I was there as a full position, so they would call me when they needed me. Mm -hmm. It was nice because it was a variety to a clinics different mm -hmm. departments. So it was like um, the infectious disease, you know, pediatrician, 
um, because somebody commented and said um, which one is like better MA or like phlebotomy I told them phlebotomy I mean MA because you get more money yeah don't you really. it's a better paying job what's no, it not. like it on depends. the skills like on your experience yeah it depends on your experience if you don't have enough experience they're gonna lowball you yeah true so it depends where you go most of the time and you do more as an ma you take blood pressure mm -hmm. you take vital more. signs more weight it. and yeah so yes and you get to administer medication with the ma so yes. you do oh i didn't know that but yeah you basically get more money but for bottom you just draw blood and if you work at a clinic you get to do all the extra stuff as far as processing but yeah, this is what we do every day here at the hospital. We get a pack, go on our floor, try and get done early so we can sit down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get coffee too. Oh, I didn't take y'all to the cafeteria today. I mean, we could still go, but. Yeah, we got colectivo in the building. Oh, we can actually, you know what? We can go there. We can go. And yeah, we just pay with our badge. We don't gotta pay no money. So if you like, they'll just take it out your track, basically. But if you got somebody badge, bitch, scan that shit. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I never did that before. <laughs> but I would do what you call it. Oh yeah. So this job is pretty easy. Like, what? Are you what? Doing? <laughs> I was looking at myself. So it's like pretty easy. The only thing is, y'all, we all be fucking late. We be late as fuck. <laughs> Every day, we got plan B though. Yeah, we do. We um, if one of us is here earlier than another one, we'll just be like, "Girl, get my pack for me and meet me on the floor." So it's pretty easy. The only hard part is getting up if you don't get enough sleep. Like today, I got enough sleep. I woke up at two a.m. I was good. But other days, if I go to sleep late, bitch, it's hard as fuck. Andrea Sanchez, except call. Go <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. Oh, I love the view of this building. Girl, I love it. Especially when the sun rises. Oh my god, so cute. Yeah. Look at the helicopter. Oh my god, that was Kobe Bryant at one point. I was right there. That's crazy as fuck. I know. Bye, see you on Monday. All right, y'all, so I'm out of there, I'm out of work. So yeah, that's a full day of work. So, well, my, you know, regular job. But now I'm on my way to Whole Foods because now it's time for me to eat breakfast. Like, I do eat breakfast when I go home or sometimes I like to stop at Whole Foods or get a coffee if I didn't get a coffee in the morning, make one in the morning from Starbucks, but I'm not going there today because obviously I have my coffee. So I'm about to go to Whole Foods because I really want avocado toast today. So, and I'm out of bread and I'm out of avocado. So I need to go get that from Whole Foods. And I don't know if y'all know this, but Whole Foods has a hot section with food in it. But they be having potatoes. Uh, what do they have sometimes? French toast, bacon, eggs. And the eggs not nasty. Like, I hate watery ass fucking cafeteria ass lunch lady ass eggs. I fucking hate that shit. But there's bomb eggs. They have a pepper on top of them. Bitch, you know, a little flavor. But, yeah, so I'm gonna go re-up on some groceries real quick. And then I'm gonna head home. It's 8.15. It's cold as fuck. Like, it's literally so. It's a brick out here, boy. It's a brick out here. Hey y'all, so I just got home from Whole Foods, took a shower. That's the first thing I do when I get home. I take a shower no matter how tired I am 
or whatever bitch i'm getting in the shower because i need to get all that off of me like seriously and then at whole foods i picked up this immunity boost so i'm about to take that right now make sure y'all are up on your immunity stuff vitamin c all that i do all that because first of all i work in the hospital and i'm around sick people all the time i'm not trying to get sick i have too much too many things to do like i don't want to you know get set back and stuff and plus that coronavirus is going around and there's one case in wisconsin it's nowhere near me it's like um near like the uwm campus area i never took this one before so y'all Oh, it's just ginger. I wasn't bad. So, yeah, I'm about to sit at my desk real quick. Because I really want to plan out my weekend. Because today is Friday. So, I want to plan out my weekend. I need to get my content in. Because I just got my phone fixed yesterday. Thank God. So, I got my phone fixed. So, I need to make content for Instagram. I need to film a couple of videos. So, I'm about to do that right now. Like, plan that out. Oh yeah, yesterday y'all when I got my phone was fixed, I was getting my phone fixed and I didn't know like the Apple store would let like disabled people work there because a deaf lady helped me and it was so crazy and inspiring to see that in person. It's so amazing to see people live a normal life and not let anything stop them from doing what they want to do. Like this lady was literally deaf. Like she had an interpreter there translating everything for her. Like it was so regular and amazing to see. It's like crazy. So don't make excuses that i literally needed to see that yesterday like it was like damn like i need to stop making excuses for shit because i can see i can hear i can talk i am able to do what a, a human being is capable of doing and i'm making excuses over little shit so i need to stop so and you do you do too because i'm pretty sure we all make excuses over little stuff uh stopping doing what we want to do for real and we need to stop. We need to stop making excuses that are probably going through worse. But still making it through life. And still, you know, trying to, like, live their best life the best way they know how. And there's, there's always a way. So, I literally need to see that. That that was crazy. It was very inspiring. Like, because she not sitting at home collecting a disability check. And i never seen that before. i never seen a deaf person work in, like, an Apple store. Y'all know Apple store. They literally getting, like, they're getting money. And they have really good benefits. And that lady in there, I really salute her for that. Yeah, it was really inspiring. So, don't make excuses because I'm not. I'm really not making no excuses. Like, we turning up in 2020, okay? y'all that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe i hope y'all got some type of information about being a phlebotomist i mean it's everybody this was definitely a stepping stone for me because i did want to do nursing but now i'm really reconsidering it i mean school is gonna always be there but 
this y'all and youtube like me building a career and my own brand is not because i'm only going to be young for so long so that's just how i think about it and you know like once you start something you just be like uh maybe it's not for me but yeah it's always going to be there if i decide to change my mind but yeah phlebotomy is definitely a good stepping stone especially if you're coming out of high school and you just don't know what to do um give it a try if you want to do it it's not hard it's very very easy i think but it's not for everybody like a lot of things aren't for everybody but yeah y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe i love y'all so much and yeah and i will see y'all in the next video